Hey, this is Justin On from Abstract Data. We're here at Mesa 2015 with the guys from Solid State. Um, we're going to be looking at the Abstract Data, the ADE32 Octo Controller. This is an eight output controller that will give you eight, any type of output uh, from LFOs to gates to sample and hold. There's looping capabilities, uh, there's arpeggios. This patch we've got set up here, um, sort of fairly synth, standard synth patch. We've got some logic, we've got uh, dual VCOs, we've got a filter, we've got a couple of ADSRs and the VCA down here. Everything you see is running from the one module, from the Octo controller. Um, I'll get, turn it up and give you a listen. So basically we've got this arpeggio going. The arpeggio is uh, actually a sample and hold loop. You can hear, see that LED there. If I take it off, it will start free running in sample and hold. If I put it back on, we've got a new loop. So that's running these two VCOs. And also it's triggering the release for the, the it's triggering the ADSRs. It's also triggering the voltage control. We've got two other external modules. One is the uh, CP909. And the uh, noise engineering BI. So everything is synced to tempo. You can see that if I drop the tempo here, the tempo of everything just automatically adjusts. And that's the same for all eight outputs. So any of these outputs can be an LFO, it can be a gate, a trigger, a pulse, or sample and hold. It can be at the clock tempo, or it can be a division, or a multiple of the tempo. And it can also be offset. So for example, an LFO, you could offset it uh, up to 360 degrees. So, so how do you uh, select the different, um, the different settings for the output? So to edit it, yeah. This sets your master tempo. The second one se selects your output. So you can see you've got a, a blue LED there that will shift down to select each new output. So now I'm on output three, now I'm on output four. Once you've selected the output you want, you select the output type, and that will be indicated here. Then you select the clock division or the clock multiple, and then finally you set your offset if you want one. So for example, this is showing an offset of zero, or a clock division, and as soon as I hit the offset, it will update. So that's now an offset of zero, and that's an offset of 360 degrees. So whilst it looks quite complex, there's actually only three parameters per output. Once you've selected the tempo, once you've selected the master, uh, the, the output that you want to edit, you've basically got type, clock division, and offset for all your, your outputs. Awesome. So when are you hoping to have them available? Uh, we're hoping to have them out within the next couple of months. Uh, we're, we're locked down with the software, got a couple of little improvements to make with the hardware. Uh, we've had them out with beta testers, so hopefully the next couple of months. Awesome. Um, uh, do you know uh, roughly what price they'll be? We haven't set a price yet. We're still sort of looking at manufacturing costs, but it will be a lot cheaper than buying eight LFOs and eight sample and holes. Right, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.